I've, I've, I've still got the wave in my head. I, I, it was the first wave I ever saw Wayne Lynch catch. And uh, <laughs> everyone was going along doing these straight lines and making waves. Not even a turn at the top. It was more like a bit of a bank and a stop. And start again and off we go. And you'd be flying along. It looked like speed lines. But it, it, I, I've seen the footage, Jan, so it's really slow, you know, compared to what we are now. But at the time... Then there's this guy. All of a sudden, I watched this guy not take off on the inside, but take off. And he went straight down. And he went straight back up, and he did this really weird thing at the top of the wave. And he went up and down and around again. And it was like, what? Where did he go then? What was that? And then he did it. Then the next turn, he went straight off the bottom and went straight up, came back down. I went, what was that? He did it again. Never seen that before. And then the next thing, he went into his next turn and he fell flat on his back. You know, and I think he lost the heat. If you had to judge it in today's terms, he probably would have got a 4.5 for those two manoeuvres and the other guys wouldn't have got over a two. I was going back to Warnable once and I told Fledge about this place called Gibbos. Yeah? And... Uh, when we drove along, coming back from Port Campbell this day, I looked down near Gibbos and up the beach, there was two, a couple of people surfing. I went, no one surfs here. I've never seen surfers here before. I said to Fledge, That's, where are they? So we actually drove into what we called the fly hole. And I'd never seen more flies than that. They call it the farm now. And we pulled up, and here was this incredible left. And I remember walking down, and Fledge said, oh, I'm going to sit up here. He felt a weird vibe. He didn't tell me. And I've just charged down there and I've gone out and there's uh, Wayne sort of looked at me and he was all grumpy and he said, well, you don't tell anyone around here. Don't tell anyone about this joint. And I sort of looked at him and I said, mate, I don't know, you know. I, and I didn't really recognise him, but he, I knew he could surf really well and I actually got a couple of really good waves. And the guys you were with on the beach and they were glaring at me and it was uh, Keith, and, uh, Keith and Charger anyhow. I ended up getting to know them really well. And Wayne was like, don't you tell anyone about this spot. And I said, mate, I've been surfing down the beach there for years. Anyhow, so it was like this sort of Mexican standoff sort of thing, you know what I mean? And um, so anyhow, so for some reason or another, Wayne and I, we hooked up down in lawn and we got talking and anyhow, we became very good friends really quickly. And he actually picked, picked up the Apollo... Uh, the paper in, a, in the bay one day and looked at it and went, do you do contests? And I went, yeah, yeah, no, I do contests, you know. And he goes, do you win the Victorian title? I went, yeah, yeah, last weekend or something. But it, between him and I, it wasn't, it was contests and doing that stuff was only 10% of our life, you know. The, the real thing that we were doing then was finding surf spots, going surfing, uh, making surfboards, you know, and, and, and testing boards.